an actual movie. This is a game. What?
Test, test. Meanwhile, on the bridge of a mysterious alien spaceship, a lowly but stalwart private commander awaits instructions from his captain commander, who enters briskly. I am entering briskly. <laughs> captain Commander Clevon, the bridge is under your command. Thank you, Private Commander Zimbar. Tell me what you have discovered about the planet of the humans. We have discovered the planet the humans call Earth. It is a very wet planet, perhaps too wet for our kind. We have anticipated all manners of wetness, Private Commander Zimbar. We, the Galactic names, are accustomed to all manner of intergalactic things. You speak the truth, Captain Commander Clevon. You have been Captain Commander of this vessel for 14 years. <laughs> and you, Private Commander Zimbar, are the youngest of a family of four and live with your wife and in the city of Josh. I know this because I was the lid more of honor at your wedding. Ha ha! That is true. <laughs> we are such old friends. Ha ha! Ha ha! Suddenly, a development. Captain Commander Clevon, something is developing! Quickly, man, pass me the concealed blimp! According to this stupid thing, the humans have been alerted to our presence and have summoned Earth's greatest hero. Captain Super Punch! <laughs> but why? Surely the humans know that we mean them no harm. We must alert High General Mifeltrop. High General Mifeltrop is summoned and she appears before them, irrevocably and absolutely immediately. What up, fellow space travelers? <laughs> I'm General Mifeltrop, you're my other old friend. Your timing is ridiculously impeccable. What is the nature of this extremely serious emergency? Tell me, for I must know instantly. It's Captain Superpunch. Earth's greatest hero. Surely we are doomed if he attacks us. We must act quickly. I concur. We must prepare to be attacked, or we will be as doomed as you say. My High General, we must alert Planet Grimblag. Not just yet, old friend. Not just yet. But we must raise the alert level to Jargo 5. What is the reading on the Knizzle blimp? At least 20 <laughs> lamps. I concur. Maybe even 21. <laughs> My old friends, I'm afraid we must resort to dramatic men. Surely you don't mean! I concur, surely you don't mean! <laughs> yes! We must, with the Earthling's greatest human champion, and tell him the truth. My old friend, High General Mifeltrop, you are speaking space heresy! May <laughs> the God's Tribular forgive us all! May he forgive us all hard! <laughs> Apologies. 
issues, we're experiencing some technical difficulties right now. Please stand by. Hi. Thank you, Frank. Entertain us, Derek. This really is a fraud.
possible. I could die any moment.
Because screw you, that's why. <laughs>
I have eaten you. <laughs> what happened? I can't remember anything that happened over the last five minutes and 52 seconds. And yet I feel somehow sad, like some great tragedy has befallen me. Perhaps I'll never know. Or will I?
president. Mind wipe. <laughs> Something happening. I can't remember. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> nice try, Tom. But I'm not licked yet. Thank you. 
myself and others, and the law. Captain, <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, but mark my words, Captain Mr. Punch. The ma machine air, uh, machine air. Machinations. Uh, Dr. Frankendorf had a uh, uh, long raging and deep fiendish uh, tantrum of my will that uh, touches every corner of this earth with the uh, red car and the determination of a gelatin giant squid. Ah. Oh, get up! We are the 60 foot uh, tall giant centipede. Christ! <laughs> what have happened to this face? We sort of hear everything, Dr. Frankendorf. How? I have been recording our conversation this entire time, my good doctor, in the off chance that you implicated yourself. I sent it wirelessly to Kasura. But my device makes it impossible wireless, or for wireless signal to escape. Well, it works somehow. <laughs> murder, my ex, murder. Yeah, I, I seem to have lost my script. <laughs> yes, I looked your baby, and I do it again. And I have to. And Taurus. And I'm sorry, Scotty, but you were disqualified from this round. Thank you for your participation. And Dom, what do we do for the rest of us, us who were on stage during this? Okay, we'll draw a female name for Dr. Frank Dorf. The sexy Dr. Frankendorf. Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, You're gonna make me say the F word again, aren't you? <laughs> and it's all being recorded to us. I know. <laughs> Morgan Merrill. Yourself. 
I sent it wirelessly to Kazura. It's down here at the bottom. <laughs> Great 
bigger than I judgment. <laughs> Hi, General Neville Trump. Is the guy can't trip the doors well. So you'll be taken and purged in the great fires of the Earth's moment. Unlimited one, you still have not heard all the facts. Very well, High General Mifflethrop, my old friend. If you deem it so important to continue this state's douchebaggery, <laughs> <laughs> the God King Triple R will hear your hear of your pleas. But be warned that Lake of Thin Ice will continue to reach the point of no return until you hit rock bottom with every continued breath. <laughs> My God, King Trumpledore, she must be cleansed in the fires of agonizing justice for her crimes. I am very religiously offended. Enough! Oh. Oh. No! The has decreed that the High General Mifflethrop, my old friend, will be permitted to speak. High General Mifflethrop, you know it. It is the will of the God King Triplor that the humans not be told of the great danger. I do, my kingly master. And furthermore, to, to this, you know you were given direct orders from Major General Admiral Skublisk not to tell the humans about the great danger. That is so great that nobody knows what it is. That's just it, ruler of all. The humans have discovered the secret of the great danger and what it actually is. They can help us. Do not be witless, space heretic. The humans' inferior brains cannot comprehend the mysterious secret of the great danger that is so mysterious. Enough! <laughs> Enough, High General Mithildrop. <laughs> if it is true that the mysterious nature of this great danger has been revealed of its mystery, then tell me why the great god the triple must know. Double zombies, great leader. <laughs> Twice as difficult to stop as regular zombies, Created by the same nuclear nu nuclear accident that killed the eggs of Kasura, the 60-foot tall giant centipede. How could this be true? Is this space trickery? No, great master. My contact is Glenn Moranis Clefdar Vimdan Achilles Botron. She hates it when you mispronounce it and call it Tran, I've heard. Encountered <laughs> one herself just moments before her demise. Commodore General Stoolchair can verify my claims as he received her last transmission. If this is true, you must be cleared of all charges of <laughs> But, but, my great lead, son! Ah, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Does my sexy concubine not refrain, return the right to punish you in a way she sees fit? Until such time as we can determine the replicated of your words. She must be put on to death. No, young one. <laughs> <laughs> Until the represent ramifications of her acts can be rightly ratified, <clears throat> she is to remain alive with her pieces unmutilated. Can I trust you, young law bearer, to hold true the wishes of the great Shoot law. Silence! <laughs> you stop doing that. <laughs> <sighs> yes, God King Tripledor. Greatest of all, Galag Tang Maneeps. Right? <laughs> okay. Then take her away. So now I. But continue my quiet action. Right, let's go. I'll can I wear some pink handcuffs? Of, the universe. of course you can. Best execution ever. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we need, we need to use those in the bedroom when we get back, okay? Uh, I'll bring them back. I'll, I'll bring them back. Right. I don't remember the last time. No, no, you're not leaving me, I'm leaving you.
prospect indeed. I must figure out their one true purpose. Super 
My dad is so brain gum. He doesn't even know that the basket of fruit he has in his main kitchen is haunted. Oh, my ass. What did you say to him? I was like, duh, dad, your basket of fruit is so obviously haunted. And he was just like, you're not going out wearing just a bath towel like that. And I can totally see your boobs through your skin. He's such a clueless. Because it, like, talked to me. Shut your ass. And it told me that we're being invaded by double zombies or something. And that it was an alien from the planet, whatever it said, I don't know even. No shit, Rebecca. My mom's basket of salad said the same thing, but whatever. You the ghost! I am the ghost. What?
please me, robot. Ever kiss me.
was who I was. I was the alien known as Colonel Commander Cripple Flag, but I died. Moments ago, I was on Earth as a ghost, but I was brought back to life by the healing crystals of Morthog, and then my soul was put into this robot sex slave. Well, the usage of healing crystals is, is, is Harris treason, our greatest crime. Greater even than killing our god? Be fucking silent, you Harris traitor. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Super Punch. 
I only mean to tell you that I saw how our buildings are tied. Tell me, for I must know. I must hear the knowledge of the great injustice that has befallen my young colleague, only 11 years alive in this cruel world. He's got got blown away, blown off by zombie eye lasers. Eye lasers? My sweet rounds! Then the double zombies are evolving, like Pokemon. <laughs> Precisely. We must seek cover before the zombies shoot our guns out. It's the zombie leader! It's no use surviving, humans. We will eat your brains and your guts. That's twice as many things as normal zombies. <laughs> Bazooka. <laughs> that should buy us some time, Captain. I need to inject. I need you to inject me with this alien blood. But why, man? It's bafflingly simple, Captain. The zombies only eat human brains. If I am part alien, they cannot eat my brains. That sounds insane. Okay. <laughs> stabby, stabby, stabby. Ah, yes, this is so painful, but I <laughs> can see it now. This was the blood of High General Mifeltrap. And it is and it contains the answer to the zombies' one weakness. What is it, my friend? I tried punching them, and I also tried shooting them in the brain with my fists. <laughs> no, no physical weapon will do. I'll have to do this right there, right here, right there. The double zombies' one weakness. I don't know how you did it, Mister, but you did it. The zombies are dead. Tell me, what is your name? Douglas F. Franken Love. Industrious billionaire president, uh, president of Nuclear America. My glorious goodness in heaven, man. I had no idea. It's an honor to meet you, sir. The honor is mine, Captain. Oh, by the way, I just developed a cure for Super Gallery. I wanted you to I wanted you to be the first to have it. That's stupendous fantastic! Thank you so much, Mr. Farkin Cloud. Thank you, Captain, for giving us all something to believe in. Gatsuka behind you! You killed all my zombies, but I am not so easily defeated, probably. <laughs> what the hell is this shit? <laughs> I only have one attack left to explode myself, so here's that to close up both of you with me. We have to evacuate the city, except that we can't, but we have to try. I'll use my billions of dollars to do it, but we need some time. Captain, can you stall the zombie leader? I think so. Exploding attack! Great boners! <laughs> Kaboom! No! You blew up the cure! Captain, it's okay. I can see this has another cure. No, it's it's too late. I'm going to die horribly. <laughs> Not horribly. Well, let me try let me try using some healing crystals of Mordog, which I just learned about through my alien blood. We can bring you back to life by putting your soul in some kind of alien or perhaps some kind of sex slate. <laughs> no, my friend, this was meant to be. For reasons I can't satisfactorily explain, Captain Super Punch must die horribly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I like Corpse!